Pineapple Skull Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I did this pineapple skull nail art design using some gel polish so it's bright and glittery and has studs and funky stuff going on so I hope you like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. Begin by painting your index ring and thumbnails with pink and your middle and pinky nails green. So on my ring and thumbnail I'm going to be painting my pineapple skull so I'm going to start by doing the outline with some black paint and a very thin brush and I'm going to do the pineapple shape or the what the pineapple is is just a skull shape right about in the center of my nail and then add the leaves of the pineapple above it. So now I'm going to be filling in the skull shape with some yellow paint and if your outlines do get covered up or messed up, you can fix them later. Or if they were a little bit wonky to begin with, this is a good time to thin them out and adjust them. And then I'm going to be blending in some pink right near where the pineapple meets the leaves. And then also right above where the teeth are. So then I'm going to be filling in my leaves with a very bright shade of green paint. So this is the same thing if your black lines were just sort of wrong, you can fix them up now. And if they do get messed up at this point, you can fix them later. So then I'm going to just blend in some green, it's a darker shade of green into the lighter green when it was still wet, just to give it some dimension. So now I'm going to add some black details, like outlining his teeth, giving him his nose, and then also painting the outlines of sunglasses. And because I thought a pineapple skull was tropical and fun in that direction, I wanted to give him sunglasses. However, if you wanted to keep it more of a skull shape you could definitely paint eye sockets instead and then also fix the outlines on your leaves and then with brown paint add the texture to your pineapple with just sort of little cross shapes and then add a little white highlight on each um, lens of your sunglasses for a reflection and then outline the frames and I'm doing this with white paint and I'm going to cover the white with the white of the frames with pink right now and the reason you want to put white down first is because if you're trying to paint pink on top of the black it wouldn't show up so then on my index nail, I'm going to be covering it with a layer of pink glitter that is mixed with some clear nail polish. And then while that is still wet, I'm going to be placing on some studs. The first one is going to be a diamond-shaped quilted gold stud, and I want to place this right about in the middle of my nail. As you can see, I didn't exactly have a plan in mind, so I changed it halfway through what I was going to do. And I'm very happy with the way I decided to go. Once it has dried, I'm then going to do my little design with white by basically outlining the studs. So I'm going to start with just a V-shape that parallels the lines of the diamond-shaped stud and then adding a straight line going out towards the edges of my nail. On my middle and pinky nails, I'm going to do a very similar design that I did on the index, starting with a layer of clean green glitter over the top of the green polish and then adding a single pink stud right on the top near the cuticle. And then I'm going to be creating a small little design with some white paint, beginning by making an X in the lower section of my nail. And then with those three triangles that that X created, I'm going to add another little just V shape in them, just a parallel line within each of those others. So it's a very simple design, but looks amazing. And then of course, add a layer of top coat. And when you're top coating, coating over the studs, make sure that you fully cover them and apply the top coat generously because you don't want them to be popping off in a day. You want your studs and your whole manicure to last as long as possible. So make sure you coat them nice and generously so that, they, that they're stuck. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!